The Elgato Stream Deck products are expensive. If you're just starting out streaming, you probably don't want to sink a ton of money into something that you don't even know if you'll even like yet. But you see all these other streamers doing these cool transitions to other effects fast and easy, and you want to up your production value a little bit to keep people entertained. Well, you're in luck. You don't even need to buy a fancy device to swap scenes fast or even trigger sound effects. You most likely already own something that will let you do all this and it's right in front of you. Figure it out yet? I'm talking about the number pad keys on the right side of your keyboard. Chances are you don't have a fancy custom made keyboard or a 10 keyless and you have a set of keys on the right side of your keyboard you might not even use all that much. Most people don't. So let me show you how to use these as keybinds in OBS to swap scenes and more while you're live to up your production. Here we are at the computer, so let's get started. So first, go into OBS settings, and then over here on the left, you'll see hotkeys. And here you see a list of everything you can trigger with any kind of key. Have a look at it, scroll up and down. Here you'll see that each scene that you see here can have its own set of hotkeys assigned to it. Hopefully that gets the creative juices flowing. All right, I'm gonna use my big capture little cam scene, basically my desktop capture scene as an example. So to assign a hotkey, let's say we're gonna to go to switch to scene. That's the hotkey that you're gonna to assign to switch to that scene. Click into the dark box and press a number on your numpad. I'm gonna go ahead and press one. And you see it says num one right there. Now to test it, just go back into your OBS by pressing okay. And then, since I'm already on that scene, I'm gonna to switch to a different scene over here. Then I'm gonna press the numpad one. And there you go, look at that. Instantly switched over to the scene that I just assigned. It's just that easy. So let's say you have a lot of scenes though. Your numpad doesn't have that many keys, right? Well, the little trick here is that you can press the num lock button and then you can use your keys again. So essentially you can have two sets of keys just off of your number pad by using the numpad to switch back and forth between the two sets. Pretty easy, right? Here, I'll demonstrate it real quick. So we're gonna go back down to settings in OBS. We're gonna go back over to the hotkeys. And I'm now I'm gonna go to like the BRB scene right here. So I wanna switch to the BRB scene, but let's say I've already used all my keys. I'm gonna go ahead and press the numlock key right now. And then now I'm gonna press that one key, the same one that I pressed earlier again in the box to switch to the scene. And now it says end instead of one. So let's go back down to OBS and I need to go BRB real quick. There it is. But then when I get back, I'm gonna press the num lock key and I'm gonna press the one key again. When I get back, let's go back to here. There you go. That was using the same key and using num lock to go back and forth between the two sets of the, the way that the key recognizes to switch to the two different scenes using the same key. Pretty cool. Now, changing scenes isn't the only thing you can do with this method. A fun thing that streamers like to do for dramatic or comedic effect is to punch into their face. And uh, well, basically this, this effect right here. Ah. <laughs> now the way to do this with your numpad is as follows. Let's go ahead and go down through it here. First, add the same camera source again in your scene. We're in our scene right now. I'm gonna go down here to the plus sign. I'm gonna hit video. Uh, video capture device and for me it is main camera I already have the main camera in here so I'm gonna go ahead and click it again and now you see it go to the top of the source list here well you want to have it below your alert so I'm gonna drag it under the twitch alerts right there and then once I select it you know right now since it's in use it's kind of not coming up but let's fix that real quick Okay, so I have my camera reconfigured now in this setup, and this is how it would look in your stream or your recording. You have your camera over here on the in, in your box with your whatever going on down here. So I've re-added the main camera source, as, as I mentioned, and as you can see, it's right up here, main camera, and then there's the main camera that you guys are looking at in the smaller box. This is the bigger camera, which I can show you guys by unchecking the eyeball. Boom. Ah. So in order to use the keypad to trigger this, we're going to go back into settings. We're going to go over to hotkeys and then we're going to find that uh, big capture little cam scene, which is right there. Now your sources basically reflect upside down to what you looking, what you see when you're looking at it down here. So main camera at the bottom is the one that I just added. 
So the newer sources are, or the higher sources up the list on the, on the uh, sources list are lower on the list in the hockey section. So I'm gonna take the number two, push it right here. Show main camera, number two. Hide main camera, number two. That way I can use number two to do both um, show and hide the camera. I'm gonna hit apply, then okay. And so in order to do a dramatic punch in with your numpad as the uh, your stream deck essentially, number two, <laughs> there it is. One more fun thing to do is sound effects. Whatever you download from YouTube or any other website can be used as a sound effect in OBS with a key press, just as we've been showing this whole time. However, a tiny little bit of extra configuration is needed though. So back in my big capture little camera scene that we're in right here, let's go ahead and add a media source. We're gonna come down here, hit the plus sign. Scroll up until we see media source, actually right in the middle, media source. So let's call it air horn or whatever sound effect you're gonna go with, just give it a name that describes it. For mine, it's gonna be air horn because we're gonna use an air horn sound effect. Press okay and then you're gonna wanna locate the file. Once you've located your file, open and then coming down the check boxes here, I'm going to click close file when inactive. Make sure you click that box to help save on resource usage with stuff like this. And then you can press OK. Now you see, you see that it popped up here. Air horn came up here and um, well, you didn't hear it, right? Well, the little bit of extra configuration needed, you come down to the little settings gear right here. Click that, then click advanced audio properties. You will see this menu right here and find the air horn right there. With air horn there under audio monitoring on the right, you click monitor only mute output. This makes it where you will hear the sound effect, but it won't be doubled up out to your stream. If you left it only on monitor off, only your stream hears it and you don't hear it, what's the fun in that? Uh, if it's monitor and output, they'll basically be hearing an echo because you hear it and the stream hears it and that's an echo. So we're gonna do monitor only mute output. Now real quickly, if you wanna guarantee that you hear it when this happens, you need to make sure that your monitoring device and OBS is set. Click close here, go to settings, then go to audio right here on the left and you see advanced right here, monitoring device. Make sure that it's set to your, to whatever you wanna hear it. For me, it's the Sound Blaster XHX headset. For you, it could be your speakers, your headset, something else. Just make sure that that's set so you can hear whatever it is that we're doing with that. So now that we've had uh, the monitoring thing set up, your monitoring devices set up, we're gonna go back into settings. Then we're gonna go over back over to hotkeys. And then we're gonna go back to the big capture, big capture little camera scene and find that source, big capture little cam. And uh, you see down here at the bottom, show air horn, hide air horn. I'm gonna make that number three on my key. The same thing on both again. And so with that done, you can press the three to trigger the sound effect. Just like that. Now, something to be aware of with the way that these work is that little eyeball now, you see that it's showing. Well, in order to make sure that the sound effect goes again the, the next time you wanna play it, you have to hit the key twice. Or well, just once to hide the sound effect. So basically, here's your order if you wanna play the sound effect and get it ready again. <laughs> press the key and then press it again, and now it's ready to be played again, just like that. So make sure that whenever you play it, press it twice, and then you can play it again. So, and now it's ready to be played again. See, think of it like this. It only plays the first time you click show, and it must be unshown before it can be played again. So in case you figure it out by now, this is actually the old way people used to up their stream quality with OBS. If you wanted to use multiple keyboards or numpads though, you'll have to jump through a few hoops, some of which is covered in a video by fellow stream tip YouTuber, Nutty. Nutty recently put out a video covering something similar, but he went about doing it slightly different. However, in his video, he talks you through what you need to do to solve the multiple keyboard or numpad situation, so you can use a whole lot more keys for shortcuts and macros. Okay, so that's it. Now the keyboard you already own has increased your production value for your stream for free. Now get to streaming.
If this video was helpful to you, we would love for you to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out the live stream every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific. Games, live interaction, Q&A, all of it. Twitch.tv slash Coalition Gaming Crew. See you there.